Hi, here is where we start this road test and we'll take a look at this nice USB soldering IRO set. The soldering iron holder is made of massive metal material. It weighs around 250 grams, enough to hold it in place and it's also supported by rubber pads. Measuring 14 cm by 6 cm makes it a portable design and easy to carry. Additionally, um, it has no screws, like this one. And it's still steady. Weighing around 90 grams, the soaring iron set has a high flexibility 1.4 cable size, which I like it a lot for the cable and the flexibility. The cable is not making those annoying loops on itself. Then it has a detachable tip, super easy to exchange, and a controller for the temperature and configuration and power input, which is pretty uh, simple to use. And also the joint between the iron and the cable is flexible. And the last part in the kit is a USB cable adapter with extra alligator clamp for grounding to the workbench. And now to show the IRO functionality, I'm going to use the USB chart from my phone, which is rated to 2 amps at 5 volts, same as the IRO on specs. We connect the power. The temperature will start rising to a preset temperature. The controller has three temperatures preset. We we'll cycle between them through the set button. And to change the temperature set, press arrow down to decrease or arrow up to increase. Release the button and now the new presets there. Pretty easy and intuitive. Holding the set button, it enters in offset mode which can be used in case the temperature on the display um, doesn't match with the real temperature. It supports an offset of minus 50 degrees to 50 degrees. This feature is stated on the date sheet, but I didn't find any manual explaining it. So it was through a process of assumption that it works this way. And lastly, um, after 10 minutes of operation, uh, no operation actually, the iron gets into slip mode and it wakes up whenever it's touching. And that's it. Pretty easy and straightforward. Now, to finish, let's try some soldering. 